What's up everyone? This is Dave with Ebb Concrete, and today we're going to talk about what are the three different methods for waterproofing my home. This is Three Minutes of Why with your Foundation Guy. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the three top methods for waterproofing your home. We're going to start our timer at three minutes, and I'm going to try to give you all the information I can within that time. So let's get started. What are the three top methods if you have water coming into your home or if a home needs some form of waterproofing? The first one is going to be an interior drain tile system. So an interior drainage system is drain tile that's usually dug in next to the footing. This is drain tile. This is three inch perforated pipe drain tile. And how it works is we break out the floor and then we dig this in next to the footing. And then we put rock in a water controller next to the wall and on top of the footing. And we control that water and we bring the water into a system that's sealed and that we are directing the water where we want it to go. You may also see a product like this called Vapor Barrier. This is put along the walls. It gives a really nice, clean, bright look to the basement. And it also prevents the water from getting through the walls. And again, we can control the water. The second one would be an exterior drain tile system or an exterior drainage system. That is gonna be a lot more messy, uh, usually a lot more expensive. But what that actually does is it stops the water from coming in. You're going to use a similar type product on the outside like this, but you're actually going to dig the dirt out from around the foundation, which you can see would be very, very messy and very, very kind of expensive to do. And then you're going to seal the walls with some form of waterproofing and maybe put a, a board that looks a little bit like this, but thicker up against that wall and you're going to sheet that water down the wall, run it into a drain tile, but then you still need to be able to get that water away. So it's usually still going to have to run most of the time into a sump pit that is on the inside of the basement and then you'll pump the water out. And third and last but not least is yard drainage. Now yard drainage kind of stands over here by itself. We always recommend if you need an interior drain tile system, tie it together with yard drainage. If you need an exterior drain tile system, tie it together with yard drainage. Yard drainage is just a good thing to have on a home. And what do I mean by yard drainage? Yard drainage would be your downspouts are far enough away from your home. You've got long enough gutters and or downspouts on that gets the water away from the home. The general rule of thumb that we tell people is try to get the water at least 8 to 10 feet away from your home. But understand one thing before I close. Just by getting water away from your home, if you have a leak, doesn't stop that leak. I hope that answered all your questions on what are the three big methods of waterproofing a home. And again, this is Dave with Ep Concrete, and that was three minutes of why with your foundation guy. If you found this video educational and you liked it, make sure to subscribe up top and check out our other ones and go follow us on Facebook and see all the other videos that we put out.